fucking money in. And today I got a quick little fun fun video for you fools, eh? Which is there I'm just gonna go to the typical stores, man, like Hot Topic, Movie Trading Goods. And I do wanna go to uh, Retro Madness, eh? Because I haven't been there in a minute. Well, not in a minute, like probably like three weeks, eh? And my bag with the glare, eh? The sun's all over the place today. But uh, yeah, man, um, I'm gonna go to those stores really quick and see what we find, eh? I'll probably end up going, I don't know, I'll probably just. So I go to Hot Topic really quick, eh? Because lately I've been going to Hot Topic and it seems like my Hot Topic never gets their freaking shipments in, eh? So I'm just gonna do this quick little uh, funk one video for you fools. Hopefully you guys enjoy it, eh? And uh, yeah, man, I can't wait for tonight, though. I, depending on when I upload this freaking uh, video or whatever, eh? But tonight's Tyson Fury was Wilder 3, you know I mean? I got my boy Tyson Fury, you know I mean? Hopefully that fool knocks out Wilder again, you know I mean? Because Wilder, I don't know, fool. That fool making too many excuses, eh? But uh, yeah, man, um, hopefully you guys enjoy, man. If you guys are new to the channel, subscribe to the channel, man. We guys like fuck ones. And right here, I'm moving trading goods, eh? I don't see anything too new, way. Eh? This is actually like the used section, and over there's like pretty much like the newer stuff, eh? But right here, well, I don't see anything that old. Oh, this Crash Bandicoot's pretty old. Oh, they do have this new freaking This Is Fine Dog or whatever, which I don't know. I was just chilling. And they have the line of friends, which those already been out, eh? Oh, they have the Adam up there, and then they have the Seinfeld stuff over there. Nothing too crazy here, man. They do have that Kyle, that freaking Goth Kyle. Is it Goth Kyle? Yeah, I think it is Goth Kyle. But over here, let me see what they have here. Nothing, same old stuff, eh? They do have the Antello, me, my favorite Ninja Turtle. And then they have some other Imperial Pops, eh? That we already seen. They have Peacekeeper, which have you guys seen that little exclusive clip or whatever that Warner dropped or DC? And then uh, down here, some Space Jam. Eh, nothing too crazy. That Pete Wentz, which that one's still sitting at Hot Topics, eh? Oh, and then they have the Highway to Hell on me, the ACDC pop album. They have some uh, Masters of Universe stuff, Mighty Thugs, eh? Classic movie. And oh, they have this fool right here. This is new. They have the freaking uh, Iron Man 2, the P exclusive, where he's uh, taking off his freaking uh, suit. Is it when he's taking off the suit or he's putting it on? I think it's when he's putting it on or taking it off. I don't know, but this is a glow in the dark one, which this one looks like it's cool, but I don't know. I'm not a big fan of these six inch <laughs> paws away, but uh, yeah, this one's pretty, pretty nice scene here, man. I haven't seen this one in shelves, eh. And then what else they have? They have some Ahsoka goodness, eh? And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much... Oh, they have the freaking Ronald McDonald on me when that was rocking out. That's right. I know they just released an exclusive one to the Philippines, which that one was kind of wild. Exclusive uh, little cabinet, eh? They actually have the same pops. The only one I seen they added was the Meowth, eh? Which, is it worth 20 bucks? I don't know. And then they have the Bobo's old one, the Pikachu flocked, and then the... Aaron Rodgers, which they I really want that one, but it's kind of torn right there. And they have Steph Curry, and then they have the Scooby Doo one, and then the We Live Chase. Nothing too crazy. So now we're at Wild's Weep Say, which they that store is mainly nothing but anime, but they do have mixed in like Marvel Pops, as you can see there. They have that Blue Spirit, they have some Star Wars goodness, hey, some Full Metal Alchemist, freaking that Chopper, what is it, Buff Chopper? That Dark Side, which that one looks sick, and then Sub Zero, that's right. And a bunch of more anime pops, say hey, some Yu Gi Oh! goodness, and some NYCC Iron Man, which they dropped the ball on that one. And yeah, some more anime, nothing too crazy, eh? Hey? And then moving on, eh, to the, like, the higher end pops, eh, they freaking have that Moon Knight Glow in the Dark, which is a, what is it, Comic Cast? LA Comic Con exclusive, which that went up in value. And again, a gang of more freaking anime pops, couple chases. And then down here, there's some of the Freddy Funkos and that freaking uh, Eddie Brock Black Tea Bundle, which I'm still trying to get, wait. Eh? I'm pretty sure that pop's going to go down in value. And then they have some more, well, Scott Pilgrim goodness and uh, Star Wars Rebels. Some little, you know, higher end. They have these new Star Wars pops, which I'm not familiar with this Knight Brother, eh? But it looks like freaking Darth Maul Brother, eh? And it actually has that new GameStop sticker. I guess it's only exclusive to Star Wars. It is like a special sticker for them. And they actually have the Hina here too. And then they have the Super Commando, eh? And then they still have some of the Shang-Chi, the Dead Dealer, the Lucha freaking Marvel pops, and some Bakuka. And down here on me, they have the homie Triple H with the pin, eh? Look at that beauty. 
GameStop exclusive and what is it? Oh, SummerSlam freaking uh pin. But yeah, man, this one looks dope, man. But I, you know what? All these boxes are freaking beat up. They look at they have that little ding right there, and this one's all beat up right here. And these are the only three ones they have, man. This one's beat up too. That sucks, eh? But it was nice seeing here. I didn't even know they were gonna be making this Triple H pop, eh? I'm a Triple H fan, eh? And they have some of the blood works, the sod, some Star Trek, same of the Wolf Common pops that we've seen before, eh? Some of the Deadpool ones. Oh, they have this uh, Chicken Ramen, which I haven't seen this one. And again, there's Marvel Zombie ones, and then some of the white ass pop protectors. But yeah, man, that's pretty much it that I see new here, man. Everything else is the same old, same old. Eh? I'm gonna check the action figures really quick first and then we'll move on to the pops, eh? Which they have some Tom McFarlane goodness, some DC Multiverse, the freaking um, Harry Kelly eh? from The Dark Knight Returns. Oh, they have some more Tom McFarlane. They have the freaking, Bat freaking Batman Beyond Woman and freaking Batman Beyond there. But they're actually missing the um, Build a Figure piece, eh? And they have this freaking badass little Batman right here. That's right, oh my goodness. I thought some of bad. Oh, damn, I dropped it. What's up, Batman? The Freeze. I have the Manhunter freaking robot, which I think these are going to be the villains for the Green Lantern um, TV series, I think. Something like that, eh? And they have some more Batman goodness. But the one that I'm freaking tempted of copying is this big ass freaking, um, what is it, 7 pack of me? Of the whole Justice League. This is actually from the new 52 way. But I don't know. Oh, I'm tempted, eh? And then they have the freaking Dark Knight Returns Armored Batman, which this one's beautiful. And you know, it has some Rand more Tom McFarlane goodness. Batman Red Sun, I mean Superman Red Sun. And they have these little Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle figures, which they look dope. The Marvel section, they have some of the new uh, Hashbro freaking out figures, Mystique. And then they have some Toy Biz goodness. Freaking Scarlet Witch, eh? and then they have freaking a uh, Sentry baby. Look at this vato, and then they have freaking a uh, Lady Deathstrike, which I would have copped it if it was complete. Eh? But it's actually missing the building figure, freaking piece. And they have another Sentry back there, and then they have freaking Electro. This looks pretty badass. Eh? And then on here they have some another freaking Sentry, freaking a uh, Supergirl. Some Falcon, they have the Venomized freaking Quempo, Abomination, some Silver War goodness, pretty old Pop, eh? And then they have freaking uh, Dark Captain Marvel. This is actually from what, 20, oh, 2020 STCC. And the Metallic freaking Mystique, that one looks dope. Oh, and then they have my favorite Spider Man pop on me, Iron Spider from Main Game, that one looks dope. Some Deadpool goodness. And they have Craven the Hunter. Push people should not sleep on this pop, eh? For 10 bucks, that's not bad. I already have them though. Uh, some, uh, what is this from? From Elder Scrolls, from that game. I played that game one time and god damn, I don't know why that game's trash to me. Some Af Mass Effect, Saturday Night Live. Oh, they have Di Duck Dynasty, Willy. That's right, I mean, that's some preacher goodness. Nothing too out of the ordinary. So we got some exclusive goodness down there for the origin zombie land. And now they have this freaking the small world Mexico on the phone con. And uh let me see what else do they have? Uh oh they have freaking Carrie Kelly, which I'm gonna take this one because I don't think I have her. I think I do. I'm not hundred percent sure, but for eight bucks I can't go wrong. I might end up copying that one. And uh some modern family, Gloria. You know, freaking punchy, and yeah, that's pretty much it. What I see, man, everything else is pretty, uh, pretty, pretty trash, in my opinion. Eh? Higher end pop section, they didn't have anything too crazy. The cool thing I seen there was pretty much the brain from Pinky in the Brain and the scorpion uh, from Mortal Kombat X. Eh? But everything else was like whatever, eh? nothing really too that uh, caught my attention. Madness, which was the last stop of the day. And by the way, I did not record anything with Hot Topic eh? because they still had the same old freaking stuff eh? that I seen like freaking months ago, man. They still had that freaking Gambit one, that freaking the one that looked like a Hina, which it was the Hot Topic exclusive, which that one didn't stay there until they put that. <laughs> Until they put that for on clearance, eh? And I'm pretty sure people still were not gonna pick it up if it's on clearance, eh? So first I'm gonna show you guys what I ended up picking up from uh, Retro Madness, eh? 
which I went ahead and caught me this uh, Harry uh, Kelly, the new Robin from The Dark Knight Returns, eh? which shouts out to freaking Frank Miller, man. That's a great, great story. If you guys haven't read it, or watch the animated series, man. They did a, they did a freaking uh, that story justice on the animated uh, freaking film, man, which the, is a two-parter, which, come on, you had to do a two-parter, man. But yeah, man, I, I don't know. I, I'm still thinking, and I think I do have Carrie Kelly in my collection, eh? I'm not 100% sure, eh? But I think I do. But either way, for eight bucks, man, I said, why not, eh? She looks pretty badass, eh? In the comic book, she freaking uh, blasts this freaking uh, Superman. Homie, with her tank, homie. That's right, eh? But uh, yeah, let me unbox this one so I can show them to you guys really quick, eh? She has her little slingshot, which looks pretty dope. Look at her. That's right. And there was actually like a little Easter egg on the Teen Titan show. I don't know if you guys are um, watching the Teen Titan show or not, eh? But they actually, uh, Dick Grayson was looking through the back computer or whatever. And since he didn't want Jason Todd to be Robin anymore, he was looking for a new Robin, eh? And her, her name popped up, which that was pretty dope, eh? That they did that, eh? But, oh yeah, and then Tim Drake's gonna be a Robin too. Watch. I'm pretty sure, uh, Nightwing, I haven't watched the last two episodes. I'm like an episode nine, and I still need to watch episode 10, which I, I don't know how long the season's gonna be, eh? But that Titan show is pretty dope, man. I, I really enjoy it. And then the next thing I picked up, eh, from Retro Man with this um, freaking little X-Men figure man with his Jubilee which there's like a little um, sentinel hand so it's pretty dope I'm a big X-Men fan eh? but this one I probably end up giving it to my brother because eh? my brother's like the he's really into X-Men like he collects nothing but X-Men stuff eh? but this one looks super dope eh? and then the, and the last thing I picked up eh? has to be the freaking pickup of the day which I actually picked up this figure from Fat Gandalf eh? which this Mesco 112 what they call them, the 112, a eh? 112 scale, I guess. I don't know, was it 12 scale? That's what it stands for. I'm not 100% sure, but I got this beautiful freaking John Stewart figure, man. Which, let me unbox them really quick, eh? Show them to you guys. Which, every time I go to Fan Gandalf, man, I always see this figure there just sitting in the shelves, eh? And I was like, you know what? Today, you're coming home with me, eh? Because, you know, uh, John Stewart is like my favorite freaking Green Lantern. Even though I do like uh, um, how Jordan, eh? But John Stewart, come on, wait. John Stewart's a badass. Which these freaking little figures right here, they're pretty expensive, eh? Which this one I ended up paying, what was it, 60 bucks for it, eh? Which I think it was a fair price, man. I seen them on eBay going for like 80, 95, eh? So you know what? For 59.99, man, you cannot go wrong, eh? But damn, look at this beauty. Homie John Stewart, eh? And the dope part about it is that their freaking out uh, costume over there is kind of like, um, it's cloth. It's actual cloth, eh? They're a little bit better than, um, freaking out uh, Marvel Legends and like Tom McFarlane figures, eh? And then his face detail is pretty, pretty legit, too. They actually give you two different, uh, head molds, eh? The other one, that fool's ball head. That's right. Look at that fool. And then, of course, they give you a, a lot of accessories, you know, they give you the freaking lantern. And then they give you one with him shooting like a little uh, ring blast. A little ring blast. It's pretty dope, eh? Let me put the freaking... Oh, look at it. That's right. And then you could make that full hold the freaking lantern in one hand and one out. Which, these are dope, man, but they're expensive, man. Well, I think they, they, they range from like 80 to 100 bucks, eh, depending on what you want. Which I do really want that Batman Beyond one, but they want that one's going that's going for like 200 bucks, eh, which I don't know. Do I really want to pay $200 for a figure weight? I don't know. I'd rather just pay $200 for a comic book, man. And then there's um, a lot of like little, like little flame bar right here. There's a lot of little accessories, man, which is pretty dope. Pretty much it, what I ended up copying today, man. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this quick little Funko hunt, even though I picked up more figures than Funko Pop, say. But, yeah, man, like always, man, if you guys are new to the channel, man, you guys like videos like this, eh? you guys like Funko reviews, um, subscribe to the channel, man, and don't forget to follow me on IG at streak underscore 89er. And, like always, streak 89er out. Like.